All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing DOSBox among many different types of platforms. Thanks. This being Raspbian, a Debian uh, distribution for the Raspberry Pi. This being Ubuntu, and that just being Mac OS X High Sierra, which is, is no different than Sierra in DOSBoxes. This is just DOSBox 7.4. This one has the mouse cursor already in, so We'll leave that alone. So today what we're gonna be doing, oh my gosh, I forgot the mount C on this is one. Is we are going to be Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Some delay. Gosh, I'm going to like explode here if I don't get this right. Okay. Now, now that we're all in our proper games folders, this being already in our game folder, this already being in our game folder, this is all being in our game folder, we can really start. So what we have, respect wise, is we have one of these type of cards emulated on there. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, next what you have to do is you have to start a server using the start server command and then adding one of your own port numbers. This for the Mac cannot be any less than, I think, 1,800. This, it, this we're gonna connect using the IPX net connect command. You write down your IP, which is just the IP of your cheap router or whatever you hooked up. I suggest using a cheap router. These all have to be connected to the same network, whether by ethernet or whatever and this also is hooked up using the um, you know same same thing so yep and we'll press enter and if it fails to connect then we did it wrong yep so we're gonna have to change the IP address let's see if it works for this one it failed so if it fails on you, type your IP as 198 or 199, depending on the ending digit. It could be two digits off. So yeah, you never you never really know. All right, so I got that connected at my IP, the correct one, not the one that was stated. Even though the even though it might say that it might be 197, it can always be wrong, and it could be 199 on another computer. So you have to check. So whatever. Whatever is your uh, server computer, that's the IP you type to all of them, all the other ones. That way they connect as clients and you'll be pretty much good. So we're gonna clear out of this and now we are all connected to a network. Now what you wanna do is change over to any game, let's say Doom. So we're just gonna connect to all of them. All right, we got all we got into our, you know, subdirectories, and we are ready to play some Doom. Now, let's go over to Run Network Modem Serial Game for all of them. This is very important. Usually DOS games will have this option. So you go click on IPX compatible network. You do three players that, or how many clients you ever have. You have a max of four players or how many players you have. So and then for all of these, you can just scroll down. Sometimes just you know. You have to have all the same settings though, otherwise, otherwise you will not found, okay, so we have found all of ours, so now they're all running Doom. So if we can look over here, we can see that we've got two other guys. We got someone from a brown team. Yeah, this is the brown team right here. 
We got some from the green team. And some are from the gray team. So that's three player Doom. And you can, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can do this with any of the Doom 1 or Doom 2 or Ultimate Doom. I highly suggest you just play around with your friends or whatever. But you're like, this has been done before. We are next going to do. Uh, so, what have I got? I think I have read that rampage on only some of these. Uh, I won't be able to do that. I mean, I, why would I? It's, it's highly um, inappropriate, I guess. What's another game? Do I have Redneck Rampage on all of these? You can do a... Oh, I have Duke Nukem. It's multiplayer. Doom 1, done it. Doom 2 has been done. Redneck Rampage. Some people might want to see that. I don't know. Let's see. Duke Nukem 3D. So let's just do a two-player game with Duke Nukem 3D. Now this. Oh, jeez. We can do a network game. My goodness, if I can just... We can launch Duke Nukem 3D. And it's look at the players. It found both of them. Yep, so we've got Duke Nukem on both. Duke match. Co-op. Of course, you have to have competent computers, unlike me. I only have a couple competent Raspberry Pi in this. We get start the game. Go find. Yeah, no, I can't really do anything right now because <laughs> whatever. Like you're, you're walking around. Oh yeah, this is multiplayer Duke Nukem. So that's pretty cool. So many of you have been wondering why I have not posted a video about a jet engine yet. Well, I am working on that. I have currently made the jet engine, and I really want to finish the video with, um, you know, I want to finish it with everything done already so that I don't have to, um, you know, go out and post a couple videos. I feel like some people would like that, but I don't like that. I like having everything, you know, in one video. That way I don't have to have parts. Sorry about the paper airplane part one thing. That was really stupid of me to do that. So, um... Yeah, that will come out in about a couple months due to, you know, projects and school and whatnot. Uh, sorry, I haven't posted in a while. I have just been busy with life and things like that. And I've had um, videos that have not been released due to just stupidity and things like that. And, um, yeah, so I will get that stuff out as soon as possible. And I will try and keep you guys updated. And um, thank you guys for subscribing and liking, and I'll see you guys later.